Hello, everybody. Just making a little bit of a guide here on the Living Rock Caverns, because it's a, a pretty good place to make money from fishing. And this is the fishing guide for down there. And I'm, I guess I'll just start off with showing you the equipment that you should be wearing. You need a weapon. You definitely need a weapon. I bring the Armadillo Godsword because I'm such a huge Armadillo fanboy and this weapon is pimpy. Then I would suggest the full fishing outfit because it increases your fishing XP. And it's it that or if you don't have it, armor. Because, well, there's so many freaking bots down there as long as you're on World 84 that you're not going to get attacked that often. And you need you should really have the aura Call of the Sea or Greater Call of the Sea because it increases your chances of catching fish and that's good for Octail because they're a slow catch and it, it doesn't help much but it's enough so uh, the cape doesn't really matter so I just wear my Easter cape from a few years back the ring doesn't really matter either um, I would wear some armor gloves like the rock shells you know just for a little bit of a life bonus and the amulet if you have like a fishing pendant or something I'd wear that which I do but aside from that you could wear really anything it doesn't matter I I have the radiant alchemist amulet you know just for a quick teleport to the GE and uh, that that that's a basic rundown of the equipment uh, you gotta make sure you're on world 84 because that's the that's the official world for fishing rocktail uh, you definitely are going to need living minerals because that's that's what the uh, Rocktail, that that's their bait, and uh, I guess y y you don't really have to worry about getting attacked because there's so many bots down there, and if you do, if you have a good enough weapon, the things aren't really that hard to kill, and abilities like regenerate help a lot too. So I guess I'll show you how to get there now. The living rock caverns are between the barbarian village and uh, Falador, so just lodestone teleport to Falador, and uh, run in this direction. You got to go up above the lodestone, go right, go up the hill. Why does you have pink hair? Anyway, um, sorry. Go up here past these guys. It's in here. Gotta get up there. I can't tell you how many times I've accidentally attacked these dwarves instead of clicking go down the ladder. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. They're usually bots, though. Go down the ladder. You run over here. And there's a rope here. Just click climb down. And you, you're probably going to get a warning the first time. Just say, yeah, go down there. You don't need a light source or anything. Even though it can be pretty dark. Depend I guess it depends on the graphical settings. This here is a, a bank deposit box. So when you get full in Rocktail, you run over there. Now as you can see, this place is pretty crowded. Um, don't worry about all these big ass like living rock things. They're they're aggressive towards everyone, but there's so many people down here that, you know, you're you're not gonna get attacked too much, and you just need to run over all the hubbub is, and you'll see a rocktail shawl, and then just you know fish rocktail, click, and of course you know I use grenades, and that's how I fish. You know, honestly, it's just another fishing animation, but the one thing I f oh yeah I forgot to say, turn your public off. You need to do that. It is just so much clutter. Ah yes. There are people who drop their rocktail. I have no idea why someone would do this, but it is practically free money just sitting there on the ground. Like, rocktail, let me check how much they're worth right now. Uh, excuse me, price checker. Fuck. There we go. Yeah, they're worth quite a bit, and people will power fish these things, and I don't know why. Like, I mean, yeah, they're XP for power fishing, but why would you drop something like this? Like, I practically just picked up 10k. I mean, I don't know if it's a bot thing or whatever, but, yeah. And you want to have your public off because, well, there's so much clutter on here, so much chat, and it's usually just, like, pointless arguments between random people. And, uh, there's already people with fish masks that are talking, and there's assholes who, with, who have achievement banners, and those things, like, messages don't get turned off by public chat, and they're really annoying. Oh my god, there's a lot of people there. And sometimes people will plop them down right in the same spot you're fishing, and you won't be able to pick up stuff. And it really sucks. You can also mine these things when you kill them, like these big striker guys, and they'll give you, uh, they'll give you living rock minerals. I don't have the mining level to mine them, 
I think it's 70 something or other, so I, I can't do it myself, I just know you can. And uh, yeah, just keep fishing and eventually profit. Uh, if your computer's a little bit slow, then sometimes you might get pissed off because, I mean, there's like 500 granite lobsters right here. There's literally just so much going on down here. Like, just in a, the screen is just sort of filled with a clusterfuck of nonsense all the time. Like, look how many people are there, and more than half of them are bots. So, it, it might suck if you have a slower computer, and someone just erected a changing room around me. So, yeah. One thing I forgot to mention is, with the fishing outfit, uh, Rocktail are 399 XP a pop, which is about, you know, pretty much 400, and with a fishing pendant, that's like, that's like 600, and that's a lot of XP, especially if you have the aura, that you can catch them more often, so this is a really good place for XP, like, probably, I mean, I prefer this over barbarian fishing or monk fishing, just because of the good money, and because of, uh, the, uh, the XP, too in such huge amounts and I don't know I just it's, it's a cool experience gets really annoying sometimes though and uh, this is the one place in the game where bots are actually a good thing because they take the hits for you it is definitely a good idea to keep watch of your screen because uh, sometimes you know the fishing spot will disappear everybody will leave and if you're just like one of the few people left standing there not knowing someone something might attack you and if you have your auto retaliate off like I do you might take a good amount of damage so just be sure to pay attention and uh... yeah i mean i've seen level two hundreds die here i'm not even kidding it's just pathetic like i mean i can understand not paying attention to your screen but someone who's max combat level just completely getting killed by one of these things is just is just kind of ridiculous the guy wasn't even fighting back and he had absolutely nothing equipped it was just retarded I didn't mention this before, but where you get the fishing jacket, you get it from the Fish Flingers competition. Uh, it's it's a fishing D&D uh, &D or distraction diversion minigame, mini whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, you get the outfit piece by piece, and the minigame is actually right over here. And if you want to if you want to participate, you go over to this fisherman fisherman guy, and every 15 minutes a game will start, and you get points, and you can claim uh, you can claim the outfit, and each piece increases your fishing XP by like. If you have all five pieces, it's a 5% per catch, which is really good for this place. Uh, the aura you get at the, so not the Solomon store, uh, the loyalty point store. And the regular, I believe, is a few thousand, and the greater Call of the Sea, which is, the, the regular is 3%, and the greater is 5. And if you get the greater, it's like 14,000 points, which is a lot, but it's worth it. Um, the Sh Radiant Alchemist amulet, uh, that was something that was on the squeal a few weeks ago, like the squeal of fortune. So you can't get it anymore. But then again, this this slot doesn't really matter here. Uh, the AGS is, you know, it's just it's just an AGS. Uh, the Explorer's Ring is from doing uh, all of the Lumbridge and Draenor tasks up to medium and hard. I forget. I just know you got to do like three different sets of them, and the thing gives you a free cabbage teleport, which is obviously so worth it. You can replenish your run. And, uh, by the way, I hate cats in this game. They keep running away. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's it for now. If you have any suggestions or questions, uh, be sure to just, you know, leave a comment. I don't know if I did something wrong or if you think, uh, I could use some help in some way. Just, uh, let me know, bro. See you guys later.